On the bus home from school one day, Leo noticed a new boy sitting by himself. Leo said hello as he passed, and the boy answered, Bonjour. Leo froze. This boy said hello in the same language that Leo spoke at home with his family. It was called Creole. No one at Leo's school knew that he spoke that language. He didn't want anyone to know. Leo loved speaking Creole at home, but he didn't know anyone else that spoke it. He didn't want to feel different from the kids at school. Leo wondered if this new kid was from Haiti, like Leo's own family was. The next day, Leo sat next to the new boy. Bonjour, Leo whispered so no one else could hear him. Bonjour, non moi c'est jean Edward, the boy said with a smile. Leo smiled back and introduced himself too. Later, Leo saw jean Edward trying to tell a teacher something, but the teacher didn't understand Creole and jean Edward didn't speak English. Leo thought about going over to help, but he was worried his friends might laugh at him. Leo heard jean Edward say the words boîte manger. Leo knew that meant lunchbox in Creole. Leo decided to go over and help. Leo asked jean Edward what was wrong, and jean Edward told him in Creole. jean Edward forgot his lunchbox at home, Leo explained to the teacher. Thank you so much, Leo, the teacher replied. I'll make sure he gets school lunch. Leo didn't notice that two of his friends were right behind him and heard everything. He looked at them and noticed they were smiling. You can speak another language? His friend Ryan asked. That's so cool! Really? Leo asked. He always thought that if his friends found out he could speak Creole, they would think it was weird. Yes! They exclaimed. Leo's friends asked him to teach them some Creole. He felt proud of his language and how he helped jean Edward. I would love to, he beamed. I bet jean Edward can help too. He speaks Creole, just like me. On the bus home from school, Leo, jean Edward, and their friends practiced saying words in Creole and English the whole way.